Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Happy Model Sailflight X Micro Brushless Quadcopter. As you can see the Sailflight X is different than the previous models from Happy Model and even though it uses very similar components the Sailflight X is designed to be faster and this is probably not something that you would like to fly indoors. Unlike the latest brushless whoops the Sailflight X doesn't feature any propeller guards it's using a carbon fiber plate that has a thickness of 2 mm, 1102 9000 kV motors, 1.5 mm motor shaft, and 66 mm propellers. The flight controller slash ESC board is the Crazy B F4 Pro version 2.1, which is very similar to the one that the Mobile 7 HD is using, except now 1S LiPo batteries are not supported, so this board supports LiPo batteries between 2 to 3 cells. In addition, on the front of the board, you can find a 4 pins JST connector for connecting the all-in-one camera. The Crazy Bee F4 Pro has an integrated 5A 4-in-1 BLLES ESC, and you can also get it with an integrated radio receiver, so you can choose between FlySky, FR Sky, or DSMX compatible versions, or you can get a version that doesn't come with a radio receiver, and then you can simply add your own one. The version that I have came pre-flashed with Betaflight 4, however it was an outdated version and I've already flashed the board with Betaflight 4.01. On the front of the canopy you can find a 700 TV line CMOS all-in-one camera. It's connected to a 25mV VTX that supports 48 channels and features smart audio. Finally, the Selfly X comes with an XT30 battery connector and you can mount the battery on the bottom of the quadcopter using this 3D printed TPU part. Inside this small box, along with the quadcopter, you can find a 300mAh 3S LHB lighter battery, 10 extra 66mm props and extra screws, an extra set of 3D printed TPU canopy and a battery holder, and I was told by Happy Model that the final version is going to look a little bit better. The angle of the camera on the purple version is 40 degrees and on the red one which is already assembled 30 degrees. Finally you also get in a bag that contains a screwdriver, a propeller extractor tool and a battery velcro strap that will enable you to mount bigger batteries on the bottom of the quadcopter. The weight of the Selfly X is 35.7 grams so it's heavier than the Mobula 7 and lighter than the Mobula 7 HD. Its wheelbase is 106.8 mm. The distance between the right motors and the left ones is 74.6 mm, and the distance between the front motors and the back ones is 74.6 mm as well, so it features a true X design. As I mentioned before, the Crazy BF4 flight controller came pre flashed with Beta Flight 4, however, it was an outdated version and it's not going to work properly with the latest Beta Flight configurator. So I advise you to update to the latest Betaflight version and you can enter the DFU mode either by connecting the quadcopter to your computer and under Betaflight you can find the enter DFU mode or you can simply plug the USB connector to your computer while pressing the boot button which is located over here. When binding the Sky version you can choose between mode D8 and mode D16. So you can find the option under configuration the receiver has to be set to SPI RX support and then you can choose between FR Sky D which is the default option or FR Sky X. The FR Sky D stands for the D8 protocol and FR Sky X for the D16 protocol. After you chose your desired protocol you can bind the quadcopter either by heading over to the CLI and then enter bind underscore RX underscore SPI in the CLI. And this is only going to work if you're going to use Betaflight 4.01 and above. And if you're using the Betaflight 4.0, you will need to enter bind. This is not going to work in this version. So if you want to enter bind mode, just enter this command. You can see that now the LEDs are flashing. And after entering this command, the LEDs are now solid, which means that now the quadcopter is ready to be bound. In addition, you can also enter bind mode by short pressing the right button which is located on the top of the quadcopter while the quadcopter is powered up. After the quadcopter is in binding mode, simply select the protocol that you would like to use on your remote controller, hit bind, and as you can see now the LEDs are flashing which means that the bind procedure was successful. 
On both D8 and D16 protocols, you will get the RSSI indication, so you'll be able to display the RSSI on the on-screen display. After this short introduction, the next thing I'm going to do is to head outdoors and test the Cellfly X using two and 3S type of batteries. Its weight, including the included 3S 300mAh LH3 battery, is 61.7 grams. And I'm also going to test it with a GNB 520mAh 2S LH3 battery and a TBS Graphene 300mAh 2S LH3 battery. So I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video and I will see you in the end of it in order to give you my conclusion. Faded in this dark and smoky room With your face reflecting bright green, brights and blues You know I kinda want to disappear with you But I don't think that is what I would usually do
So overall, after flying the Happy Model Selfie X, I can tell you that first of all, this is probably the fastest binary fly micro brushless quadcopter that you can get. It is extremely fast, and if you're a beginner, I would definitely consider scaling the throttle, otherwise it might be too fast for you. In addition, these motors in conjunction with the Biblade 66mm props are very efficient and you'll be able to get to close to 6 minutes of flight time, which is something that you can probably dream of when flying the Mobula 7. Out of the batteries I tested, I think that the one that I enjoyed flying the Selfly X the most with is the TBS Graphene 300mAh 2S LHP battery. And even though it's the smallest battery out of the three, I think that in terms of power to waves ratio, this battery is excellent. And I got close to five minutes of flight time using this battery. And maybe you can get close to six minutes of flight time if you're not going to push the throttle. In terms of range, you can expect about 200 meters with the built-in Sky radio receiver. And I used only the D8 mode and maybe you can get a little bit more range using the D16 mode. But the problem is that sometimes when using the D16 mode, you're going to experience fail safes. So I think that you should better stick to the D8 mode if you're an Sky user. And anyway, you're not going to get too far with this 25mW VTX, so 200 meters is not that bad. In terms of durability, I can tell you that I only crashed the self light a couple of times, but it wasn't at a very high speed. And since this thing can go pretty fast, you are going to probably break the bottom plate if you are going to bump into a rock. So once the spare parts are going to be available, I think that it's going to be a good idea to get a spare bottom plate. And I also suggest getting an extra motor. So overall, priced at $88, I think that the Selfly X is definitely a very fun quadcopter to have. It's not going to replace your Mobula 7 or your 5-inch quadcopter, but this is something that you should definitely consider to add to your collection to fly outdoors. As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about the Happy Model Selfly X, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.